Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video for Acumatica 2022 R2, we're going to talk about a new feature for journal transactions where you can now go through an approval process. So if you've seen our other videos, we talked about how you can set up approval maps. Well, if we go over there to our approval map area and we add a new approval map, we'll create one for journal transactions. Under entity type, we now have journal transactions here in Acumatica. We'll add a step. And then we'll add a rule. So the rule might be, for example, and maybe GL transaction account equals inventory. equals some sort of asset account. Maybe we want to make sure that we're not allowing anybody, unless we approve it, to post an entry to accounts receivable. So we'll put a condition there, and under rule action, we'll assign it to maybe Anna Johnson. For more on all these other settings, see our approval video, and you'll get better detail. But I'm going to save this now. Now that the rule is created, we need to turn it on under our GL preferences. So if we go to our GL preferences under approval, we need to add our approval map. So if we select here, you can find our journal transaction. And then what you can do is you can pick a notification template. This notification template will be sent to the approver when an approval is required. So for this example, I'll leave it blank, but you would create your template and select it here. We'll save this. Now we'll create a new journal entry. <clears throat> so we'll tab down to our details. We'll pick receivables. Notice we're getting a warning that this is a control account anyway, but this again is approvals. We could have tracked anything. We could have tracked the project code. We could track the unit of measure. We could track who's actually creating it. Maybe we want to approve everything that John Doe is creating. If we're a little nervous to track any of these fields in the approval map. So we're going to try and move $50 to maybe retained earnings. or from retained earnings back to receivables. Now again, this is something we want to monitor because receivables is a control account. We don't want to throw off our AR. Having said that, there may be situations where somebody high up, it's okay for them to do this kind of journal entry. This is a good example of requiring an approval before something crazy gets done. Now if we save this, and we try to remove the hold. Notice the remove hold is now an option. Prior to that, we could just save it and it was balanced. On hold is now the default step. And if we remove it, Acumatica puts us into a pending approval status. And if you go to approvals, you can see Anna Johnson. She's the one that needs to approve this. And whoever else can do it if they're above her in the company tree, then they can come in and approve this. This will show up under Anna Johnson's approvals screen or any kind of dashboard that may be created. So that's journal transactions approvals. Under approval maps, you can create it here. So if you like this video, please click the like button below, bottom of YouTube. And thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any additional questions for us, Feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.